That could be a reputed doctor, practices medicine in a tire 3 city. He owns an imported SUV which he bought 10 years ago, using his hard earned savings of nearly 5 years. Initially, he used to take it for long rides, but for the last 6 7 years, he only commutes to his clinic a 10 minute drive from his home. It's typical, it's probably taken a step back from his wild driving days. The SUV has been his proud possession, but it demands high maintenance. He bought 10 years ago. Obviously, maintenance costs have crept up. Also, the diesel guzzling SUV does not comply with the new emission norms being introduced in Tire 1 and Tire 2 cities. Nice. Of late, a few newspapers reported that the new emission norms may be introduced in Tire 3 cities as well. This news has worried Raghubir. And so, I think it's up for a change. Generally, cars, you should, at the end of 10 years, you should probably say, hey, I need to figure out a way. I need to, need to change it. He's had a, uh, it, has, it has been a big deal for him. It's one of those proud possessions. He's with an entire three city, a giant SUV is bound to uh, raise eyebrows. So, so he's got that. So he's been happy with it. But for the last six, seven years, he's practically not uh, given it, put it through the ringer. He's been low key about it. Right? Probably, let's go to. Raghubir is afraid that once the new emission norms are rolled out, he might not be able to use his SUV anymore. Which of the following options will best put Raghubir at ease with using his SUV for some more time? Important, some more time, not forever. And so, he's worried tire 1, tire 2 are beginning to get these norms. Tire 3, maybe, maybe, if somebody tells him, look, uh, keep it Raghubir, at least 3-4 years, we don't have to worry, he's happy. And so, he's not looking to have it forever, but hey, 3 more. Then he has a window to sell it to somebody, a, a window to reassess the changes, something, something he can do. His mechanic assures him that the new norms will not be introduced anytime soon. That's reassuring. And so, mechanic assures him. So, I, I like this. But somehow, I feel like his mechanic is authority in, the, uh, in putting this together. I don't know if he's authority in knowing the norms and new news. And so, mechanic is, is, the, is if something, if he says this vehicle will last four more years, there's no issues, the spare parts are good. Take him on his word. But if he says the norms won't be introduced two years, three years, the, the information is good, but I don't know if the authority is good. As a sought after doctor, all the law enforcement officials are his patients. Which is good. <laughs> but straight away I'm saying there's not a choice, right? He's basically saying, basically, had, even problem had to be cutting, yeah, no, no problem. If the norms change and there is a mechanism to say you can get away with it because you know the the, the, the traffic inspector. I don't like that option. Right? So, so straight away no. So this is an easy no. You can't pick an option where you say, look, I know the inspector. Cutling. No, no, no. That doesn't work. Right? So, the city has many other SUVs which are as old as this. Reassuring. Reassuring. In the sense that, look, I have company. Not reassuring. In the sense that, look, this won't come. It, it, it is one of those things where, like, uh, like I don't have, there's a power shutdown. The power goes off in my house, I look out and say, Sabka kar hai. the whole, whole street is gone. And it feels nice. But it doesn't actually say anything about whether it's going to come in 10 minutes or 2 hours or 3 hours. So all of us could be in trouble. So it's all right uh, in, a, in a kind of mystery loves company way, but not too great. Doesn't really reassure me. So his lawyer friends in the city recently bought non compliant SUVs from tire through cities. So the, the tire two, if it once it went out, so the tire two guys are looking to sell. The lawyer guys know that they can get it as a, at a good price. They are buying it and taking it. And so the emission norms are not going to affect tire two cities, tire three cities that quickly. Is the inference here and here? So I like this as well. Non-compliant SUVs are still playing in tire two cities. This I don't like. Because there is a compliance expectation. Once the norm is there, it's basically saying, even though there is an expectation, we can get away with it. Similar to this. Even though it's an expectation, you can get away with it. Because you know people. This is, on non-compliance is not taken seriously. This is, you know the people, they will not take your non-compliance seriously. So B is really bad. But he also is not a preferred thing. They might suddenly start taking it seriously. It's a, the norm is a norm. Law is a law. The, it's legally, it's in shady territory. So I would push out B and E. I would keep C as well behind because A and D are better. Between this, both seem to suggest that the norms are not going to come in a hurry. This comes from a mechanic. This comes from lawyer friends. I'm taking lawyer friends because they're talking about a legal norm being implemented. Tire 1, Tire 2, Tire 3. Every chance that they have 
better handle on when it might come, how it might come, how long it might take than the mechanic. If somebody says, look, your vehicle should work for another four years, the mechanic says and my lawyer friend says, I'm taking the mechanic's word. This set of things being implemented in entire three cities is going to take three more years. I'm listening to the lawyers. Anya, Raghubi's daughter, works in a metro city. She's concerned about private transport emissions and is unhappy with her father's diesel guzzling SUV. Though she wants her father to be more environmentally responsible, she's aware that any drastic suggestion might attract strong resistance. Probably tell my, my daughter this. She can't come and tell me, look, you change your car. Maybe she can. She can get away with murder. But I'm saying I see the thing, the grand patriarch. He will listen to his daughter, but it has to be a nudge rather than a directive. Right. Hence, she wants a solution acceptable to Raghubir that gently dissuades him from using his SUV on a daily basis. Right. So it's very nicely worded. Right. So she understands. She wants to, I won't say she wants to manipulate him. Uh, she, I won't say she wants to play him. But she wants to nudge him rather than direct him, rather than just order him around. So, Gently dissuade him. Well, I like that phrase. Gently dissuade him. She wants to almost create a mechanism where he realizes, hey, I've got to be environmentally conscious. I don't need to lug around this SUV all my life. I can find a, another alternative. And, I, and, and, and he should kind of go towards that almost as if it were his own journey there. Which is one nudge, one prod from the daughter. Which of the following actions by Anya will best dissuade Raghubir from, from using his SUV on a daily basis? Take away Raghubir's SUV to the metro city and gift him a new SUV. Uh, all good, but is SUV to SUV? I don't know whether it's solving the environmental transport emission problem. And this is like a hard press. Take away, take away. Just take it away and then put in, like, I'll solve your problem for you. No, 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 that doesn't work. You want to gently dissuade him because she is aware that any drastic suggestion is likely to meet resistance. It's drastic, as drastic as it comes. Straight away, no. <coughs> Give Raghubir a small petrol car and convince him to sell his SUV. It's all right. I like this. My, 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 my small issue is, is you gift him a car and then send him, try to sell him. So, so it's almost like you're taking the decision for him and then telling him, look, you sell the SUV. Whereas this says, gently dissuade him. It's not gentle. It's like you have another car, why don't you use it? So I'm taking the decision for you. So the, the, the outcome is well done, is what you want, it's going to be achieved. But <coughs> uh, any drastic suggestion, gently dissuade. In that part is slightly on the back foot, but I still like it. Request Raghubir to use public transport for his daily commute and use the SUV sparingly. So, nice. So the environmental thing will work. Uh, uh, she wants a solution that gently dissuades him from using his, his SUV. But he's anyway using it. If you look at it, it says he's anyway using it practically only for a. Uh, he only commutes to his clinic at 10 minute drive from his home. He's practically using the vehicle only for 20 minutes. And so he, I think, therefore, the solution cannot be for. Uh, cannot incorporate something which says use the SUV sparing. How much more sparingly can you use it? You take it. Chances are he can't. He doesn't have a public transport option to his clinic. He's going to use it. And if this his current usage is making you unhappy, this is not going to be drastically lower because he's already using it only sparingly. So I think any suggestion should include the idea that SUV not exist. Already using it rather sparingly. He's using it for a 10-minute drive per day. 10 minute up, 10 minute down. How much? Lesser can he use it? So if you want to dissuade him, it has to be not there. Therefore, it's a little bit iffy. Ask his mechanic to explore if the SUV can be retrofitted with a CNG kit. An out there suggestion, explore the opportunity. Then it will be an SUV. It will still be a complication. A tire 3 city fine CNG thing. I don't know if it really solves the problem. It is uh, it, it probably the 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 the, the gas guzzlingness fuel cost angle might, might come down. But I don't know whether it's environmentally that friendly. I don't know if that is, it is really viable. So lukewarm, not really a fan. And telling, asking a mechanic to explore is like, neither here nor there, I'm not going to Ask Raghubir secretary to ferry him to the clinic daily in her car, except for the weekends. So 
so this again i like because it says look have somebody uh, remove the daily commute from suv onto something else in a way where it is not inconvenient thing so he has a car she she he or she secretary uh, she secretary brings her car takes him over a period of time he'll probably realize that he probably doesn't need the car because the daily commute is covered you can you can give it off so this is so this this does not inconvenience him in any way replaces the suv with another mode of transport lets him have his suv for that one two days where he might feel like he needs it therefore after a while he'll say look i don't even need this because i'm using it only once per week i'll find a simpler car so this i like so because these two are good i'm going to eliminate acd and gift ragubir a small petrol car and convince him to sell his suv uh, ask ragubir secretary to ferry him to the clinic i was really torn i would have gone for this or this both are this close right answer is this uh, because this is this is still think little forceful get a car take the decision for him whereas they are very explicitly told to gently dissuade him. get a car one day finally instead of this big car there's also a small car so it's almost like like use the small car it's not gently dissuading him nudging him to it as much as taking the decision and and and, and, and grabbing on to that shift which is why not this but this so ease out whatever the suv is doing get it done through another tool which is basically the secretary ferrying him in her car therefore the suv suddenly does not get used even the sparing level it is currently used it's out and hope for the best so this works best the new emission norms are about to get implemented in tier 3 cities and ragubir city will follow suit shortly so suv has a kind of death notice marked on it so hence ragubir starts exploring options of buying an electric vehicle he lists the following factors that will guide him on buying an electric car nice so moving with the times nice evs within ragubir's budget can cover his daily commute but not the long rides what are we supposed to do which one is best or the above listed factors have been arranged in a decreasing order of influence which of the following works sorry about that so we need to arrange these in decreasing order so evs within ragubir's budget can cover his daily commute but not the long rides uh, it's a factor but to be honest the last 5 6 7 years he's not been using his suv for long rides he used to do that for the first few years but the last 5 years he's not been really doing it he's been taking it to his office and coming back so it may not be a criterion for him he is practically looking at a car to go to a clinic and come back so i don't think long rides are in his list of things and so not high maybe maybe i'll put it at a 6 out of 10 factor and i'm checking some number in others will be higher or lower a new suv electric suv in the market within his budget nearly has the same look and feel of his present suv i like this when it's one it's electric and it's suv so the the presence matters to him he doesn't want to downgrade to a small car he probably a good guy who's used to being seen in suv it is within his budget i really like this phase within his budget because he spent 5 years saving up to buy an suv so it fits out of whack and then it becomes a tricky decision so it is within his budget suv to suv nearly has the same look and feel of his present suv practically i live i'm living my same life except this electric less polluting is my same budget rather i mean it's my it's in my budget rather happy with this this scores high like an 8 or 9 on 10 evs cannot be driven beyond a speed of 70 km per hour you know it's such a big crucial factor why because he's not using it for his big cross country india rides he's not that much is clear he's not using it for those cross country rides that much is super clear so he's only using it for a clinic and back so he's rather happy with the uh, with the short haul commute we're really looking for that in a tier 3 city from home to clinic is probably never going to hit 70 km per hour so therefore this also will be like a 6 out of 10 i don't want to take a decision on whether this is 6 or 7 and 7 or 6 my 9s and 8s are separate my 6s are separate we'll take care of that new charging stations on the main highway connecting his city to the closest metro city may come up in another area this is important because at some point of time i go out having an eu ev vehicle i'll want this i'll want the reassurance that i can charge on the way otherwise my range gets severely constricted important criteria probably 7.5 or 8 out of 10 why lower because i'm not doing big intercity commutes with my suv 
I am looking for a vehicle for in-city commute. That is clear. But it is an important criterion. So I am giving it probably a little bit more than these two. The only shop selling EVs in a city is ready to trade in Raghubir's SUV at a reasonable price. Oh, I love this. I love this. I have an SUV. I am going to replace this. I, want, I don't want two cars. So I want to trade in. The guy can't trade in my vehicle. I have to find an alternate buyer. It's a pain in the neck. So wherever this is going to be accepted, wherever somebody takes my vehicle and gives me another one, I'm liking that. Right? So I want Q and T to be high, P and R to be low. Let me look at something. Q, T to be high, P, R to be low. Q is very low. I want this. Q, T, Q, T, Q, T. Yeah, this is fine, but not this. And I like Q more than T. Do I? A new electric SUV within his budget. Nearly has the same thing. It will get traded. Q slightly more than T. In R and P lesser S in the middle. Yeah, this is S right at the end. There's S in the beginning. Both of these have S. There's RSP and PSR. All right. Q, T and T, Q. We compare R and P and see which is more important between R and P. Both are not super important. I'm not that worried about it. Between Q and T, I like Q, T better. Q better than T. So, T, Q, R, S, P. No. Q, T, P, S, R. I like that. This is T, Q, R, P, S. No. S, I think, will be not the last. So, not this. It's between these two. Q slightly more than T. Right in the budget is a very juicy statement. I really like that. My budget. That, that, that just given that it is my budget I can also trade in my car I can trade in my car but then the budget is later no 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 budget is the first criteria and then trading in the car is a bonus after that therefore Q more than T I would go towards that